Hi everyone, today is May 4th, 2015, and Aiden and I are here to do his six month update. He is six months in one week today, and just wanted to go ahead. It's been a very um, fun month, and we have a lot to report. We started solids. Um, the first thing he had was sweet potatoes, and he seemed to like those. He's pushing the computer with his foot. Um, so we started with sweet potatoes, and then a few days later, we went to avocado, and then a few days later, pears, and then a few days after that, we're on bananas right now. And bananas are his favorite. He loves them. So um, we're going to do a few more days of that, and then we're going to go to peas after that. Um, I am making my own food for him. Um, we've been using all organic and the Infantino um, pouch system. So I am freezing some, mostly sweet potatoes I have and some pears. Um, but that's going really well. I'm excited. Um, I did buy him the um, Plums brand, the Yums, the little uh, teething wafers. He doesn't really love those. The dog actually has chewed on more of those than he did. But I feel like it's just good for him. Because he puts everything in his mouth. And then when it comes to the teething wafer, he's not super interested in that. But I feel like, you know, just going to continue growing and learning and, you know, experiencing new things. So that's a fun experience for us. Sorry, I'm just going to get a little more comfortable. Um, and so you can see him a little bit better. Um, what else? We went to the doctor for his six-month update. He got his next round of shots. He, um, I'm sorry, I probably should have done this before we started. Okay, I promise I'm not going to move again. Um, he had his next round of shots, and that went well. And he weighs almost 15 pounds. He's, uh, I think, 14.7 pounds as of six months. And he is 26 inches. So although he looks really tall to me, he's like long and lean. Um, I think he's around 33, 33rd percentile for... Um, for height. Um, he's doing every time in the morning when he plays, if you can see, um, well there's a dog, but if you see right there is his um, his little gym area. Oh, there it is. You can see it now. And he always rolls over from, um, I always put him on his back so he can play, like with the toys on top, the rotating toys. And he um, always rolls from back to belly now like consistently. Um, what else? He really wants to walk. He does, I mean, not walk. He wants to crawl, but he doesn't. He just kind of shimmies around like he goes in a circle and he can get where he needs to go. But um, he gets really frustrated when he can't get something in front of him. Um, as for pacifiers, he's really funny with the pacifier. Um, he'll put it in his own mouth if you put it in his hand. Yep, close, close. <laughs> so yep there we go good job Aiden so he does that um, he's still supporting his own weight he can hold on to something if you um, prop him up but you have to watch him really closely he's also sitting up that happened when, during the five month the fifth month um, so that was awesome at first he started by slouching over a lot and then he started sitting up a lot straighter all of a sudden so that was good and I don't know, he's just starting to grab for things more. He's just getting big. He's just my big boy. And he's his personality is amazing. He's just awesome. He's still sleeping through the night. Um, he sleeps between 10 to 12 hours a night, usually 10. Um, what else? We're still breastfeeding, and he's still um, supplemented. I supplement him with about... Um, between 8 to 12 ounces of formula a day. Um, if I don't do that, he gets dehydrated. I tried so hard for months. I did power pumping. I pumped more. I pumped was pumping an additional four times a day. I was drinking 130 ounces of water. Oatmeal every day. I still eat oatmeal every day because now I'm just um, used to it. And I don't know, the teas, the fenugreek, everything. And I would try my hardest to um, be able to just nurse him solely. And I would be able to fight through it. It would be a struggle for the day. And then he would have um, a dehydrated diaper, um, like the orange crystals in it, which is really bad. 
So, I mean, you obviously don't want your child to be dehydrated because that could lead to them needing to be hospitalized. Um, oh, and here, I love mom. <laughs> um, as for clothing, he is in, he's still in some three to, three to six month stuff. Not his onesies so much because, like, he's longer, I guess, in the torso. But um, I don't know why the rompers, the rompers still fit well. And then he's in six months, and he's nine months is also fitting pretty well for us right now. So we're trying to suck up on a little more nine month stuff. Um, he loves our dog. As you've, if you've been watching my channel, you know that Wilson is very in your face and always around, and Aiden enjoys that. <laughs> um, so they love each other. Come here, Wilson. Come here. So um, you can't really see the dog, but. There he is, and oh, kind of looks like he doesn't like him, but I promise he does. He's always really um, excited when Wilson comes by us. Like, there you go. You can see he was just trying to grab for him. Um, here, I'm going to step back and lower this so you can see him more. Let me just put him like this. Say hi, Aiden. And he's getting very vocal. Um, he likes to talk a lot. Uh, well, you know, like make lots of noises and stuff. Um, there you go. And then as for me, I am six months postpartum, obviously, and things are going well. I wasn't doing a great job with weight loss prior to, um, to this month, but I started Beachbody has a program called the 21 Day Fix, and I started that on Monday 13. Um... When I weighed myself about a week in, and I lost two or three pounds, but I am, um, I'm not going to weigh myself again until the end, but I feel better. I'm eating, I'm eating clean, my portions are controlled, I'm working out seven days a week. It's a really awesome program. Um, if you haven't checked it out, I would. It is amazing. I just feel, I'm even happier. Like, I feel like my body still looks the same, obviously, because I'm only two weeks in, but, you know, I'm doing it the right way, slowly. And I feel good. I'm happy. Like, I have energy when I work out in the beginning of the day. Uh, so that's going well. And I don't know if I mentioned in my other videos about um, trying to conceive baby number two. But we are. Um, we did take a break this month, however, because we're moving in the middle of June. So if I did get pregnant this month, that would be kind of really hectic to be in my first trimester. And moving like packing and moving and unpacking with uh what will be an eight month old so it took a little break for that figure i do want my kids to be really really close in age i even at first was trying to get them um under a year apart but that didn't happen so i figure you know when it happens it happens hopefully it won't take as long as it did with this little guy and we'll just try you know seriously again when it's time so figure maybe um in the summer he's trying to reach for Wilson so maybe in the summer we'll try again seriously but um you know it's hard to because you don't want it to take the full time that it did or as long as it did with Aiden so we'll see um besides that I'm really excited this week is Mother's Day um happy Mother's Day to everyone out there um, pregnant moms, moms trying to conceive, moms with babies, and moms with all kids of all ages. Um, I cannot wait to see what my husband has planned, and really, not that I'll tell him, but it really doesn't matter because Aiden's here, and that's all I care about. It's amazing. And actually, last Mother's Day was when we had our gender reveal party, which was such a great day when I made the slideshow. Um, if you didn't watch that video, I'll link that. But I feel like that was one of my my best videos for YouTube. Um, now it's just hard. I've honestly wanted to get really serious with YouTube and even upload a video like once a week. And it's just so hard, especially now with um, all the workouts. <clears throat> And it's only 30 minutes a day right now, but I'm going to be doubling up next week and, you know, prepping my food and cleaning the house and the baby and, you know, there's just so much to do and soon I'll be packing. So I don't really see that happening. So even though I have lost subscribers, I feel like because I'm not consistent, um, I, I just, there's really nothing I can do about that right now. Um, 
but I would like to make some videos about different products. I feel like for new moms, there's a lot of products out there that you really don't need. And I feel like I wish that I watched a video like that. Like some stuff I just kind of knew and other stuff I didn't. Like for example, I'll show you then. For example, um, the bottle warmer. I ended up selling my bottle warmer because it was just a waste for me. Um, and they get really dirty on the bottom. It's They're really gross. You have to clean them really, really well. It's disgusting. So I had the Dr. Brown's one. So I highly, highly don't recommend bottle warmers I feel like it's good enough just to <laughs> just to um to put the bottle in a glass and then run the water for a few minutes it takes just as long as the bottle warmer you know just leave your water running it's not a big deal um and then another thing that I can just think of really quickly for me at least and this not might not be for everyone but the travel system let me lift them up again like for the car, I don't know. Like we just started off with a normal size car seat. Like we don't have the um we, we don't have a travel system stroller and that's worked fine. I mean, if he's really tired, he'll stay sleeping. He has stayed sleeping from the car seat to the crib so many times if he's really tired. And if he's not really tired, he wakes up and when he wakes up, he's not cranky. He's woken up cuz he wasn't that tired, I guess. You know, he took a little nap. So um, those are two items that definitely eh, don't really need. Um, what I do recommend, though, which I wish I had with him because he stayed in our room until five months, is um, a bassinet. I think there's one called a halo bassinet, and it just looks a little thicker, like cushioned, because he was in, we had a player, the Four Moms Breeze, and, you know, the bassinet cover that you put on top. And um, I just feel like... The support wasn't as great, and if it was, I would have kept him in our room longer. I really wanted to keep him in our room until six months, and it just, I started to feel bad for the quality of that top mattress part, so we moved him. Um, but, yeah. Pacifiers are great, though. I definitely, we have, I feel like I have a pacifier obsession. Um, did I say obsession or something? I don't know. Um... But, yeah, the man pacifiers are great. This size is a six-plus month because um, that was just one random item that I was planning on not using. <laughs> Why are you bending down like that? Uh, that was one item I was planning on not using. I had a few that people gave me, and I bought a few cute ones just in case, and we ended up using them, huh? Yeah, we use them. Um, so that's about it. This is kind of long, even though I'm not on here a lot. Um, if you guys have any questions or do have any um, video requests, please let me know. Um, there's not a lot of action on this channel lately, so I feel like that probably slows me down too. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Hope everyone has a great week. Happy Mother's Day. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.